Well, I just got back from Haiti and we're so excited because we have all these enormous crops already growing. Last year we had a fall tour of peppers. We had over 50,000 peppers in this area of the farm. But we don't know now what's going to happen this fall as, as a result of this year's growing. Now, the amazing thing is last fall we were growing peppers this big. And now we've got them here. Well, this is June now. But we had them uh, this ripe here a few days ago, the last two days of, of, of May. So we're talking, uh, we've already measured them. We got a measuring stick. This one's about nine inches long. So these are incredible for this area right here. And when did we plant these, Teresa? A month and a half ago? Here's some melons already coming right there. We've had, we wanted to share too, we've had ripe tomatoes for over two months areas that we have growing in uh, three plants that grow in a 4x4 four four area. We let them expand to the sides. Last year we had uh, almost 50 pints of these and we still have them in the freezer. But these are really nice large size um, berries. Um, here's another experiment throughout this little micro garden. We've done different experiments where here we put a fish slurry down into this grow bed and uh, just in this kind of this corner and just to see what would happen and so these uh, tomato plants here and we have other tomato plants in the garden that are the same plants that are maybe two foot high two and a half foot tall where these are about five foot high big big right here's the level and it's about up to as high as i am right here and just loaded on every side with cherry tomatoes We've already been picking them. We've got some ripe ones down here. We use some of the same solution for the cilantro here and parsley, and that's all growing up very fast. Our grapes also, we put some of the mulch on our grapevines over there. They're growing out beautifully. These are, we got a couple areas here that grow these kind of super crops, and this is one of our compost tea makers that we have here, and we simply We'll take fish water and put it in here, and we have a formula to make um, a spray that's sprayed externally. But due to a super mulch that we've come up with this year, we have not even externally had to spray the crops yet. So all the crops that we're looking at is really coming from a super mulch that we made in the beginning of the year. So now we're going to do the external uh, sprays, which will cause them to grow a lot faster. So we're really excited about the future of what's going to happen throughout this year.